Hi everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Crafty Life, and I am here with this week's Galantine Girls Just Want to Have Fun collab that's hosted by Pink Zebra, the Unicorn Crafter, and Nikki's Halls and Crafts. This week's project is I did some guest check cards, journal cards. So this is one. And this is one. And then this one. And this one. I'm going to show you how I did these real quick. And on the back, I put some glitter and I just distressed a little bit so you can journal on the back or gives a cleaner look. Oh, I forgot to put some glit mesh on this one, so I will do that. So I should turn on my glue gun here. So what I use is I had some pink. I only had a couple pink ones, so I photocopied more pink ones. And I take with the right brush here. There it is. And I just distress the edge. Real simple. I always like that little look going around the edge. This adds to it, in my opinion. I'm going to bring just a little and do the back side as well. I bought these images of the little girls off Pinterest, or not Pinterest, Etsy. I thought they were cute. Some I didn't think were Valentine to Valentine to me, so I'm not using those. That's more birthday too, but it does say to my Valentine right there. Oh, that one. So. I'll put her in a stack. I haven't used her, so I'm going to use her. But you get there's so many to the, one, to the one I love, the little boy and girl, St. Valentine's greetings, the little boy and girl. I thought they were cute, the little Rosa, Rose girl. This is my favorite one. We're going to use this one. This is still the one I thought didn't look Valentine to me. And this one until I realized it says to my Valentine, so we're going to use it. So I haven't used her. So I'm just, I always go around these edges too. And I just bring it in a little bit to get a little red or the black of the picture itself.
Plus, if I had any weight showing through, it covers the weight up. Now the fun part begins. And I had to, I have these mesh strips. I don't even know why they're all in strips, why I cut them in strips, but I've been using them. And we're going to use a little bit of lace. And I trimmed this section off here. Because it, to me, it looks, lies lays down better on the paper without that on and I'm not fussy about the shape of it and I may cut it a little bit but I just get the pieces going and then I go from there in a square piece of paper and I'm going to go like this kitty corner on this one Get my glue, and I'm going to go back and forth, and then I'm just going to like that. Ooh, I got ahead of myself. My bad. Real quick, <laughs> I do the edge of this one as well. Let's see. Add some more glue because it dried already. My oops. No big deal. And I'm going to slant this one across to kind of give it a corner look. Move it up a little bit here. That looks cool right there. And I want to add a doily. No, I think I'll leave the doily off this one. I'm just going to add a little. I'm going to cut this a little smaller. Not much smaller, but a hair smaller. I'm going to slant it as well. And then I'm going to add it. That. Real simple. They're not that hard to do. Let's see. Oops. Too big. Love it. This won't work on now. Maybe add a little gluey as well. I test things out as you can see. That looks cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this some hot glue down. No certain order. I am going to slant this a little bit. one I'm going to just put it a hair over the lace itself just a smidgen and I cut it right there again I'm just gonna lay some hot glue down put that in there to put this right there. Looks good.
The reason I used hot glue to put the picture because it doesn't want to stick to this bread. And I have this already cut. Or not cut. Stamped out. And I'm just going to actually I'm gonna kinda get closer to that. And we'll go around and up and around. Red again. I'm using candy, candy, candy apple by Ranger to stress oxides. If anybody wants to know, just going around the edges as best as possible because it is a small piece. But, uh, get that look. Going to determine where I want to put it. I don't want to lose that, so I'm going to go kind of diagonally across here. Some glue. It's going to Kitty corner it a little bit. Pull it down. Then I'm going to cut a smidgen of this red. And maybe not, I don't know for sure. Um uh, my stickers I want. I have a certain sticker I want to use, and now I can't find it in my madhouse here. Yeah, it's a mad, madhouse of stuff. Out. <laughs> I'm just going to find to find them, guys. I'm really sorry. I have things tossed all over here. Okay. Well, I'm not seeing them. So, let's see if I can find something out real quick that I have on my table here. will work. Oh, here we go. Just going to stick this little foamy heart just up here. That looks cool. There we go for the finishing touch. There we go. Isn't that cute. Now I also did bingo cards. Took a bingo card. Plain game bingo card. And I only had like six bingo cards that I borrowed out of Diamonds Kids' bingo card thing. And I just photocopied them. And then I got sent a few bingo cards and I photocopied them too because I have blue ones. But I used the red ones with this project. It's a Valentine's Day. So there's that one. 
Take that one. Take that one. And that one. And we're going to make one. Same concept. Going around the edges real quick. Real easy. I just think it adds to it. Through the back. Excuse me. There we go. Pick an image. Uh, let's pick the little boy and girl. Same thing. I'm just going to go around, add the color on the image, There we go. And I also thought, find him real quick. And I was, oh, uh, I should have had this ready, but I'm sorry. I thought of this earlier. I meant to do it, and I forgot. And I don't have one. Wow. find it and it don't look well. There we go. Okay. The Queen of Hearts. Oh, see, it's going to be... Yeah, it's too small. But I thought it looked cute if you had the Queen of Hearts and maybe like, like that, maybe. Nah, I don't like it anyways. See? Ideas that pop in your head and then when you look and you don't like it. <laughs> see? It happens. Uh -huh. So... We have this chunk of lace I'm going to use on this one. Same thing, I'm just gonna snip a cut. This one's kinda got this cool little ruffle. Let's see how that looks. Oh, oh. I don't know if I like that or not. Nah, I'm not liking that, so we're not using that one. See? It's all about, we will use a different one this time around, though, than the first one. I'm doing basically the same concept that I did with the guest check. 
Real simple. Just kind of lay it across. Add that. And I keep all these little trim. Oh, here's a smaller one. Hey, look at there. Didn't even have to cut it. Then I get a piece of paper. And I'm using like little um, ones that I uh, used in other projects. And uh, yeah. Use scrap cereal. I was like, lost my thought there. I am going to trim this just a smidgen. There we go. Glue. You can use any glue. I'm using hot glue because it for me it works better. And I just flatten it out with this little makeup tool. And we're going to go that direction. I'm just going to go up to center. And like so. Press down. Edge. Center. And this one I'm going to add little piece of the mesh on the corner and we are going to put a gold sticker in there and there we go I mean, I could go home across this Happy Valentine's Day if I wanted to, but this one I think I'm just going to leave like this. So there's are my projects for week two. I'll show you them again. So simple bingo card, some lace, some mesh, cute little images, some scrap paper, a heart. So you have that one. And then we have this one. These was the stickers I was trying to find to put on earlier. Where I don't know they went. We'll find them eventually. You know, I'll find them right after this video ends. You know how that happens. There we go. And then my little girl. This little girl and the check guest guest check. I also have some paper doilies I had on some of these. Like this is a paper doily. So here's a paper doily. And this. 
So them are my week two number week two Gallington collab projects. I will have the wonderful ladies that are participating in this linked in the description box below. So please go over and check them out as well. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy what I created. And as always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now. See you next week with week three.